Today I'm going to show you how to change the power lift motor for your power windows in a 1994 Chevy G20 van. Okay guys, so these are the tools that you will need right here to change this power lift motor. Uh, we have some tape, which I'll show you very shortly what we need that for, uh, a wrench, a flathead screwdriver, a Phillips head screwdriver, and also the new power lift motor. Depending on what type of uh, motor you buy, you might need a drill. Um, some of these power uh, window motors don't come with the actual mounting bracket. You have to take that off the old power window motor. Um, so if you do happen to buy this one without the mounting bracket, I'll show you how to use the old mounting bracket on this new motor. But you can also buy a motor with the bracket on it already. Okay, so the first step here is we are going to tape the window. You can use any type of tape. Um, this is just what I had lying around. Duct tape is probably the best thing to use. But we are going to tape the window to make sure it doesn't fall down when we take out the old motor. Alright, so you just want to put your tape on there, wrap it all the way around the door, get that window nice and secure. So the next step here is we're going to remove the door panel, do all these screws, and take the door panel off so we can access the motor. We're going to remove this door handle. This is where you'll need your flathead screwdriver. These actually pop off so you can get to the screws behind. So just like that, you wanna pop it off and then you have access to these two screws. And there's also another one on this side. So you get under there and just pop that off just like that. Okay, so now we're going to get the Phillips head, we're going to remove all the screws for this first part of the panel. Okay, so the first panel can come out, and what I like to do is lay everything out exactly the way I take it off. That way when I go to put it back on, I know exactly where everything goes. Okay, so we're going to remove the, uh, the panel here, which actually has the, the door locks and the power window locks and once you undo the screws you can pull it out and you're going to see two connections and you can actually just pull them off they might be a little tight that's one so then you have power window switch put that to the side and then also the door lock switch then we're just going to continue to take all the screws out of all these panels here. Okay, so these Chevys also have this uh, panel here, which is actually another panel that pops off. That's going to give you access to these four screws here. Okay, so once we have the rest of the uh, screws out of the door panel, we need to take off the door handle. Now this can be a little bit tricky. You can use a flathead screwdriver and there's actually like a horseshoe clamp behind this and you have to open the clamp and pop it off to release this. So once you get the uh, clamp released, you should be able to pull your door handle straight off like that this here is the clamp I was talking about it goes over the door handle and once you pop it off it'll actually release and uh, come right off here nice and easily okay so now that you have everything off the door panel here you can just lift it up slide it back and you'll gain access to what's behind the door and we'll also have to take another panel off here the next step is we're gonna remove all of these screws here and uh, this whole panel here will actually come off and then our power window motor should be right about here alrighty so now all our screws are out we can pull this panel off just got to pull your wires through here so now you can see that we have access to the motor which is actually here and it's a little bit tricky there's a bolt here, a bolt here, and another bolt here. So those three bolts are actually what's gonna hold in the power steering motor. 
And over here is actually, right there is where it plugs in. So you can pull this uh, wiring out here. It's just a little wiring harness. You need to release that. Um, do that first so that way when you take out the motor you don't pull the wires with it. Okay, so as you can see here, this is where the uh, wire harness plugs in and if you just want to pull that out and uh, just hang this outside the door. So for the 1994 Chevy G20, it's actually a 14 millimeter wrench that you will need to remove these three bolts. And like I said, they're kind of in a tricky spot so it might take you a little bit of time to get these ones out um, just because the access isn't great but you just want to proceed to remove all three of these bolts and then you can pull this motor right on out the top bolt and the bottom bolt will actually stay in here the bolt to the left that'll come out but these other two will actually sit in here behind this bracket so once you get the last bolt out it should just come off and you can pull the old one out. So this is the old window, power window motor right here. And I'll show you what I have to do now uh, to install the new one. Okay, so you can see here that I have the old window motor out and the new one. And as you can see here, the new one doesn't have this mounting bracket right here. So there's actually one, two, three, four, rivets there that I'm going to have to drill out to take this mounting bracket off and then mount it to the new one here. So you'll get the bolts and nuts in the package with the new motor. You can actually buy a motor with a bracket already on it, um, but this one has come without the bracket. So we'll be taking this bracket off and putting it onto this new motor. Once you've uh, drilled out your holes, these four holes here, you just be able to get something like a screwdriver to pry the place plate off. And this piece here is what you need. Uh, we'll clean that up and then we'll mount it onto the new motor. So we're just gonna clean up this mount here with a little bit of engine degreaser. Get it nice and clean. Okay, so now we have the base plate and we have the new motor. We're just gonna sit this and line it up here with those holes. And then we're gonna grab our new bolts and nuts and put those in these holes here. gonna do these up when you are mounting these screws here you want to come from the back side here and push through to the side that the brackets on then you want to just take your nut and uh, place it on this side that way Everything on the back here is nice and flush. There's nothing sticking out. The screws are sticking through this side here. Alrighty, so now we have our new power window motor ready to be installed. We have our bracket on. We've torqued all our screws here, all our bolts, and we're ready to put it in. So, let's start with that. So now we're gonna take this motor, put it in behind, panel here and find the middle of it which will sit right in here and then we also want to take our connection here and we can actually put pull this out to put on so we're going to take our connection here connect it onto our motor just push it up that's on there and then we are gonna find the holes and begin to bolt it up so it can be a little bit tricky 
to uh, find the right spot to get it bolted up. But sometimes you get it in perfect. As you can see, these uh, bolts are really in a tight place. Really hard to get a wrench in there, so this is gonna take probably most of your time is just getting these guys torqued up. I have the new motor mounted back in, but before I cover all this back up and put everything back together, I want to make sure that it actually works. That way if there's something wrong, I can just take it back out. So I'm going to grab my window uh, switch right here. I'm going to plug it in. Just like that. So the switch is back on, the car's on, and now we're going to test it and make sure it works. Look at that. Okay, so now we can see that the window works and now we can go put everything back on to the door. Okay, so we're going to put the uh, door handle back on with this pin I showed you earlier. You want to just slip this pin just in to the little grooves here and then we're going to push it on over the cog and then push this down to lock it on. Get your door handle here in the right position and then you want to push it on a little bit and then basically push the clamp over and it should just lock straight on like that and then your door handle is back on. Okay so we have our power steering switch we're going to reconnect that just push it in and there's some little clips on the side here when you push it down it should just lock straight in like that same with the power door lock switch and I reconnect that somehow yep like that clip it on and then it is also gonna go right in there like that and last switches are reconnected and we have a window that works again that's how you replace a power window motor in a chevy g20